Hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Celeste and welcome to my channel at A Crafter's Story. Um, one of the things that I, well one of the many of the things that I try to do is always to repurpose as much as I possibly can. It's not always possible but I try as much as I can and so one of the things that I do keep a lot of, I, I save a lot of, is my tea tags. Um, as you can see, I drink a fair amount of tea um, and all kinds of different ones. Um, and they have different colors. Some of them have different shapes. Some of them even have little affirmations and quotes on them. And so I keep them. Um, and today is the day that I'm going to try and see what I can do with them. So I've been working on a couple of ideas. First thing I need to do is I want to string some along in... Um, string some together and so I went ahead and cut myself about I'd say half a centimeter to half a centimeter sorry to or a quarter of an inch little strips of just plain printer paper I tore a bit but that's okay and I already have two here and these didn't tear so I'm going to swap them out I've got these two here and it's I'm not going to do anything super fancy because I think they they're so interesting to me on their own that I think they have a they just kind of bring a design of their own so let's see I will plan it out it takes a roughly about eight of these guys um, my favorite so far is this traditional medicines or traditional medicinals should I say tea <clears throat> and you these are usually the ones that are for tummy trouble insomnia or digestive issues you know they and I think I bought one for um, it was a chamomile I thought maybe it could help me sleep but so that's that one but what I love about them even more is that on the other side they always have these little affirmations or little quotes this one says if you truly love nature you will find beauty everywhere and it's from Vincent van Gogh um, so that is the side that I definitely want down there here's another one of those um, let's see maybe I have a private selection maybe this very bright green stash can go down here and some lemon ginger now you'll notice the lemon ginger the chai and the plantation mint um, all the the bigelow, 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 I'm not sure how you say that. Um, their tags are slightly smaller, but that's okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's see, maybe we get um, another one of these in here, but I can flip it like that. And let's quickly do one on that side. That's the Winco make. Another little quote a vanilla chai which is my absolute favorite I love vanilla chai so much um, let's do a bigelow um, a mint what's it one two three six seven and eight there we go I'm going to use a little bit of my Fabri-Tac, which I'm finally using. I've been wanting to get this and use it for ages. And I finally did pick up some of this glue. And so far, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, it reminds me a lot of something that I used as a child called Bostick. But it's it grips really well, so... For this kind of project, it really is pretty awesome. Okay, so no rocket science, guys. I'm just going to lay these down. And already I can see that it's going to be just awesome. Awesome, awesome. Like that. And there's actually enough space. Maybe I can sneak one down the bottom here. Um, I'm not sure if I need it, but it's there. Now it's there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave that. Ah, leave that to dry. Okay. Oopsie. Next one. 
So for the projects that I decided to try and do, uh, I tried, I decided, sorry, stuttering, um, to do a page edge, a mini journal cover, and because I had a little mini journal um, and I, the, I wasn't too keen on the cover that I did put on it. It wasn't awful, just, just didn't, I was just not too pleased with it. And so I thought, well, what if I maybe covered it with strips of these tea tags? And so I've done the back. Okay, so I've got space for a little one down here again. I guess we can do the, the chai tea again, vanilla chai tea. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm going to see, set these aside. I'll just scoot them. Um, and to age up these guys just a little bit, you could take some watered down, some coffee, some mixed coffee in water. Um, I'm going to just take a little bit of, um, I believe these, this is the Rangers ink and I've got maybe just about four or five drops in here with a little bit of water and it's one of the browns, but coffee would work just as well. I just happen to have this nearby. I'm going to spray this to age it up. I'm going to make sure that I am filming. <laughs> I am, that's good. Right, so I've sprayed these. I'm going to set them aside to dry. And it just gives it a little bit of an older look. You know, a little bit of an aged, vintage look. So I'm going to set these aside. Okay. Um, I'm working on... Make sure that I don't have any wet spray here. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm working on a glue book. It's just a composition book. Um, and I've gone ahead and glued pages together in, in all kinds of different ways. And I'm going to do a video on this. But honestly, it's uh, not. I'm not quite finished with this one. So I'm going to try and finish this one and then see how it, it turns out. And then maybe do a video on it. But for now, I wanted to show you something that I'm working on here and what I have done is to I took the, the corner folded it over and pasted it down I did it with two of the pages and then pasted them down to make this a bit thicker did the same with two pages once the corners of both were down glued those together so this is actually two pages and two pages that I then covered with some decorative paper and I completely messed this one up with all kinds of paint and whatnot and it's fine because I probably am going to cover this anyway and so on this side I took my glued and then stained strip um, and once it was dry I ran it through my sewing machine see how if I can come up a little bit and you can see that I ran it through my sewing machine with a zigzag and it was just in one way to add some texture and in another to um, get make sure that they stay together and glue down the strip that I glued them onto <laughs> um, and then I really just used it as a page edge in this case a pocket edge but it could also have been a page edge here. All right, so let's get this one down. I want to make sure that I have it, um, all the lettering, all the wording is this way, so it's not upside down, because there's one of those affirmations. Oh, it's a quote, sorry. And this one says, Friendship is a sheltering tree by Samuel Taylor, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. And I think that's true. So I'm going to get this one kind of uh, positioned and I'm going to use just my nail but if you could use a scoring tool of some kind maybe the back of a bread knife I'm just going to use my nail 
because I think, oh gosh, I better check that I'm right. Am I right? Um, this corner here, this corner here is lining up na uh, naturally with the, the turn of the page, which is just coincidental, but a nice surprise. And so when I get this side, score it down, and then where that line is, I'm going to just cut it off. Let's cut off this little end piece here as well. Okay. Get all, all these little bits and pieces. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to have to clip this down. It keeps jumping up. Just clip it down so it stays down. What I like about this uh, fabric, fabric tech, I must say, is that it dries pretty quickly. And it, uh, it's a little bit like the Aileen's Tacky Glue, where it will um, grab your paper quite quickly as well. Um, so that's been nice. I like that because then I don't have to sit and hold on to it while it, <laughs> while it dries. Okay, so let's see. Let me be quick, 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 quick. And get this place down. And of course, if there's any little bits sticking up like this, um, that's fine. I'll come back later once it's just, you know, down on the page and it's not going anywhere. I can come back later and just uh, secure these little ends here. But for now, that is not going anywhere. Maybe I can get this into the corner. like that. I'm probably going to have to hold it just for a second. I just really like how these tea tags are so simple um, but just that line of cotton down the machine cotton down the, the middle gives it a little bit of texture and then there's something to read and there's you know every time you come back you might notice something else you might notice that this is a very faint it says uh, Harneys and sun, or you may go, oh, I didn't know that was black, uh, chai black tea. I thought it was all grey, <laughs> whatever. Um, it's just nice to have something um, textured and interesting to look at when you're paging through a journal like this. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put it off to the side and bring in this little guy that I just glued the corners to the back of it. Now that was the, the oh, what I didn't like. <laughs> and it's actually one of my, my designs, one of my collages. And you know, there's gonna be days when you just don't like something you did. It just is, that's just how it goes. And that's the case here. So I think what, what I thought to do, and what I did do, was just to cover it. Um, so I'm going to go and do that on the front now. There aren't that many pages in here. It's just a mini little journal that I'm going to slip into, probably into that journal that I just showed you. Um, so let's see. I'll get these guys out because they're already stained and they already have this mach machine zigzag stitch um, down the middle holding it all together and so I think what I did is I started here I'm going to put down some of my fabric tack again get that down I think more or less that's where the other one will be kind of maybe <laughs> I don't know I'm probably using way too much glue here. Let's put that away. I put it away. Okay, so let's get down our first one in the beginning here. Oh, look how oh, almost. I was going to say, oh, look how perfectly it lines up, but it not quite. That's okay. So there's our first one. Let's get the second one down. And... 
I try to make sure that I don't have like a green next to a green or a vanilla chai next to a vanilla, vanilla chai. Um, however, I do want to have um, this because I don't have that many of the medicinals with the little sayings on them. So I think I definitely want that one there. Okay, and then um, let's see, maybe like like that. Yeah, I think so. I think so, that looks good. Now this, let's see, I can just scoot it over a little bit. Um, that's something I have to be careful with because this Fabri-Tac is tacky. <laughs> it really adheres and I've got to work a little quicker than I'm used to. So I've got to be quick. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry just for a little bit. In the meantime, I can put down a little bit of this gold thread. Um, let's see if I can get that just down there. Okie dokie, artichoke. Just down there. This guy will have to scoot a bit, hey? Can I? Oh, goodness. There we go. Oh, I, I'm so glad that I started this because I, I've been putting it off and putting it off because I keep thinking, oh, I don't know if it'll look good. Maybe it'll look, you know, reusing something's great, but you don't want it to look second hand you want it to look vintage i think there's a difference and i wanted to make sure that when i did this um i was bringing you a craft and not just something that i'm reusing you know so i think i think i hope <laughs> that's what i'm doing i'm going to set this aside just to dry for a second and once it is i'll come in and put down these little corners now these are photo corners and the back of this black part on the reverse side is sticky and so I had to come in with another tea, bag, tea tag onto the corners there. I'm not crazy about that but it's not awful so I'm just going to leave it um, for now and then maybe later I can fix it or change it. It's it's okay. I think the main idea that I wanted to show you was just how to cover this little journal that um, I was not keen on to begin with, but I think it looks so much better now. Um, now that it's got uh, just some character, you know, it tells a little bit of a story. It has something of interest to look at. It just is better. I think it's just better. Okay, and now the last thing that I thought of, and I'm sure you guys will think of a million other ideas, um, because everything that I bring you on my videos are always just mere suggestions. These are things that pop into my head and I bring them to you and I'm I'm sure that you as you're watching the video think to yourself oh wait a minute what if you did this or what if you did that and that is that is what I'm hoping happens every time you watch one of my videos is that it sparks an idea for you so I'm gonna um, just go away for a second because I need a backing for this so I think uh, what I've decided to do is to use the backing of an old magazine it's an old um, Scientific America magazine that I picked up a little while ago um, and unfortunately the pages are super super brittle and I'm not really able to use it for a whole lot um, so I'm using it as a backing and I've put some Mod Podge on the other side of it just to strengthen it a little bit and hope that it doesn't <laughs> fall apart on me um, so I've had to go and get one of those that we just sprayed and I used my heat gun to dry it a little bit because I realized when I put the other one down these two sayings are right next to each other and that that kind of throws it off for me so I'm going to rather just um, use the wet one and I'm just being a little more careful with it because it's a little bit wet but I think I can still glue it at this point so I'll just quickly get this aged up a little bit so there's some definition between the strip and the backing whoop sorry 
didn't mean to throw that down. Okay. Oh, new cities in the Arctic. Hmm. I should have maybe read this first. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so I think I'm going to do it a little differently maybe and just put some of this glue down the back of the strip. And come down onto my paper like this. I think that worked nicely. Oops, I'm, I'm nice and skewed. <laughs> Oops, Ipsy. Okay, let's get this side. Get the glue down here. I feel like I'm using a little bit too much of this glue. And I guess I'll get used to it with time. Um... But that's okay. So I'm going to put that down there. And all I really want is, because um, this is going to be a belly band, so we only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. Um, and I've got plenty. I've got probably nine, if not more. Um, okay, so now this has to dry just a little bit, but I think I should be able to just, I'm going to, I'm going to, Ugh, I'm going to try and tear it, see if I can, because I think the torn edge would look nicer. Oh, okay, that's easy. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's fine. I think it's just because this paper is so old. I believe it's from 19... Um, I wonder if there's a date on this other piece. No. Oh, there's a date on this piece. May 1937. Goodness me. Yeah, no wonder it's so old and brittle. Okay, so um, I'm going to, mm, it's probably not going to be exactly the same, but yeah, let's try and see. Let's just see. Okay. All right, so I think that's going to be a beautiful belly band really beautiful so i'm gonna go and see if i can find a spot in fact you know what i'm going to put it right there because it kind of kind of ties into what's going on on this side and what i should have done is i should have put some ink down the side there so i'm going to have to do it really carefully just now once this is dry and secure but let's see where I need to cut. So I'm going to have to cut off that the pieces there and the pieces. Goodness, it just fits perfectly. Look at that. Just there and there. Oh my goodness. So that makes life a whole lot easier. I just have to cut it here like that. Did I say? Yep. And then we just cut it off there. Like that. Maybe I can age this end a little bit. There is some Mod Podge on this side. And was it Mod Podge? It was either Mod Podge or Gel Medium. I think it might have been Gel Medium because I just tried to strengthen the paper a little bit because it's it's super, super brittle. Um, and as I was turning the pages, I mean, it's, what's well, 1937. We look just over, like, just under 90 years. My math is awful. <laughs> My math is terrible. But, you know, it's old. It's really old. I mean, it's coming up to or just over 90 years. Oh, my right. Anyway, it's old. So, I think this is beautiful. I really do love the idea of how I'm going to try and accentuate some of the um, stitching. There we go. All right. So, now all I have to do is put a little glue there, a little glue there, and place this down somewhat in the middle. Doesn't have to be exact. And I'll hold it down with some of my little clips. And we have a belly band made of a belly band that is almost a century old. <laughs> I really need to get out a calculator and work out 
What is 37 from 23? 14. Okay, so 80, 86 years. I think so. I think so, 86 years. You guys can tell me in the comments if my mental math was right. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath because my math on a good day with a calculator is not that great. <laughs> so, so mental math is going to be... Okay, so there it is. Um, that'll be the belly band and it's definitely um, a little... Still, I think a little brittle. I might have to come in with a little, um, maybe some lace or maybe some ribbon down the side here just to give it that little bit of extra strength because I, I don't trust this paper. I think it's very, very, very um, fragile. But all in all, I think it looks gorgeous. So let's let, let this all dry just for a sec. Okay, so um, I think this is dry enough for me to now cut it loose. And then put on some of the corners. Get that all the little excess pieces off here. And excess of this gold thread. Like that. Let's scoot this off to the side. You can't see the mess, right? <laughs> oh yes, you can wait. <laughs> get rid of it. Okay, so we have to get these corners on. Um I am not crazy about how I had to cover the back. So I think what I might want to do later is come in and just run these um, these tea tags because I've got tons of them um, and maybe just run them all the way up because I think I can fit probably four to there, to there. And that way it maybe looks more like, a, like an edging. But I think for now I just want to show you how... I put on the the corners um, and so these you can buy on Amazon they are photograph corners that you would put in a photo album and I've taken them and just scooted them over the side here like that and like that and now when I come over, this is sticky because that's what would otherwise have gone into the photo album. So I'm going to have to um, get a little bit of glue underneath. Just a little bit. A little bit on top. Um, like, just like that. Make sure they really into that corner. They stick out a little bit, unfortunately. Um, which way are we going? It's this way. Like that. I'm just going to cover it. And then down here. Just cover it. And then I'll clip them down and give them a, a chance to dry. So I'm trying not to let them. I'm trying to not move them because I did on the back end and I got all got them all skew. So I'll let that stick to the side for a second while it dries and and uh, we can recap on the other two projects. Bring that back. Alright so I'll unclip these. I did manage to get some of that um black ink down the side and I went a bit overboard. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to do something here because I made quite a mess. Um, so I'll put something here, maybe a pocket, maybe, maybe actually, you know what, I think maybe some writing paper, some, some lines. Because that'll cover most of the mess that I made. <laughs> um, this should also be dry, I think. Take that off. And um, also on this belly band, I think definitely this paper makes me a little nervous. I'm going to have to do something about... Um, strengthening the side and you know I know that with very vintage paper like this um, somebody might be asking right now why didn't I just photocopy the page a lot of these um, I, there were quite a few pages I think there were 112 pages in that magazine and I've kept a few of my favorites and I am going to photocopy them and then some of the others that I weren't too keen on I'll use up like this so I, I think I'm pretty sure somebody's probably thinking why did you cut up a 1937 <laughs> magazine 
well that was my thought okay so here is our belly band and um, the bit that down the side of of what's going to be a pocket here and then we have another one down the side there so that is looking really good and then when this is dry I think I can I'm gonna just chance it and just take it off and hope that I'm I think it's fine and show you so there are our three projects okay so I did it <laughs> I was a little worried but you know what it came out fine I'm I'm really happy with the vintage look that I was going for so thank you so much for joining me and if you try this please let me know I would be so interested and and um, if you want to share any photographs on our Facebook page come across to our crafter story Facebook page and share your pictures of your project especially if it's one from one of the videos um, I'm always interested to see um, your take on something that we did here okay we'll see you next time bye